Uh, first thing, I'd like to just uh, appreciate everybody uh, coming today, National Signing Day. Um, of course, we already had one uh, early signee in December with Braxton Todd going to Bowling Green. But I uh, just want to talk a little bit about these three guys that are signing today. So coming this way, Jacob Barrick um, signing with Jacksonville State as a tight end. Hudson Clement signing with West Virginia as a wide receiver. And Christian Slack signing with Shepherd University as a D lineman. All right, I also want to talk a little bit. He's not here, his prep school at Doran Smith is actually signing today as, with Cornell as well. So we're proud of Dorn um, going to prep school up in Salisbury and then uh, furthering his career at Salis Salisbury. So the way it's going to happen a little bit today, guys, is uh, these guys will sign individually. Hudson's going to go first, and then whoever wants to set up their stuff next can set the stuff up. But I really uh, i am proud of these guys, and they're here because of their character and their dedication to their academics, first of all, and then just being great team players. All these guys are great team players and uh, put their team first, and now they have individual honors and they will go on to play college football because of the things that they did for this team here at Martinsburg. So uh, we appreciate these guys and uh, good luck to their future. All right. All right. We're here with uh, Martinsburg Gatorade State Player of the Year in football, Hudson Clement, making the commitment to West Virginia today, and obviously a big decision, very late decision for you. Yeah, um, it was late. You know, uh, Neil Brown came to see me at school and um, uh, talked to me, let me know everything, everything that was up, and uh, had me come down for a visit. And I came out for the visit, talked more with them, and, and just fell in love with uh, West Virginia school and uh, the campus and everything about it, the coaches, and I, I think that's the right place for me. Is that kind of been your dream to play for WVU, uh, like your whole life growing up? I mean, yeah, it's always been up there. I mean, WVU, I uh, knew that was the biggest D1 school, hometown school, and uh, it, yeah, it's been a dream for me, and um, it's pretty crazy that it's finally, you know, coming true. Going back, obviously, you guys win the state championship. You have the eight touchdowns in that game. You know, a little while later, you named Gatorade State Player of the Year. How has the last kind of, I guess, two-ish months been for you? Uh, they've been crazy, you know. Um, uh, some accolades that I'm just very proud of, uh, very humbled to get, and uh, they've been crazy. But, you know, it, job's not done. I got a really big task ahead of me now going up to uh, Morgantown. I'm going to have to work, put in all the hours and everything, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to get going, and I'm ready to start new and uh get going up there at Morgantown. Besides West Virginia being the biggest offer that you received, was there anything specific that you liked about either the campus or the school or, or just what Coach Brown pitched to you? I mean, yeah, there's a few things. I mean, the campus and everything is just breathtaking. I mean, you, you go there, the facilities and everything there is just, uh, it's, it's little to none. Like, there's lots of stuff there that can help me get to where I really want to go and I think that was a big deciding factor in uh, picking where I want to go. Do you really uh, bet on yourself here going with the preferred walk-on route? You've seen guys there especially recently Malashevitz being one of them in that receiver room yeah. you kind of look to that and be like oh I can do that and then we get a scholarship. Yeah definitely I mean it just uh, gives me more fuel uh, coming in there as a PWO uh, I know I'm gonna have to work even harder and do everything 10 times more but you know I'm ready for it I'm ready to do what I got to do to get a spot. Out at Martinsburg High School with Shepard commit Christian Slack defensive lineman now uh, obviously the last couple months been kind of busy for you getting that state championship win and then kind of seeing wh where you're going to go in college what's the last couple months been like? Uh, it's really been hectic it's a really stressful experience but had fun all the way through it and I'm really happy with the decision I made. Uh, what was appealing to you about Shepard and why did you want to go there? Uh, destination, the people I know, all my family can come to my game, so that was a really positive. Obviously, growing up in the area, you see two other guys from the EPAC committing, yeah. you know, on the offensive side, specifically, you know, guys from Jefferson, Sammy Roberts, and Lonzo. Well, how does that make you feel knowing that you know some people at least that you're going to be playing football with for the next four years? No, that makes me really happy. I actually hope that I uh, room with one of them at least because uh, I met Sammy a couple times. He's a really cool guy. You know, we congratulated each other when we committed, so. I'm really happy about that. And at Shepard, uh, offense and defensive line wise, they're they're losing a lot from last year. So uh, you'll definitely have an opportunity to compete for 
Oh, plenty of time right away as well. Yeah, yeah. That's what they said at least, so <laughs> see what happens. How much did uh, Tyson hype you up over there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> He, he's awesome when it comes to Martinsburg recruits and everything, you know, uh, getting our names out there to see Shepard. So he was awesome. What are you hoping to achieve at Shepard uh, football-wise? Uh, my first year, I just want to get in the rotation, start playing. By my senior year, I want to get all state or all conference, whatever it is there. All right, thanks, Christian. Congrats and good luck at Shepard. Thank you. Out here at Martinsburg High School after the signing ceremony, and uh, we're here with Jacob Barry going to Jacksonville State. Right now, D1 FCS, but making the move up to FBS in the next uh, two years. How does that make you feel knowing that, you know, you're going to be able to compete at the highest level in college football? It's going to feel great. Like, I feel like I can play at that caliber, and I'm going I'm to make it a point. What was appealing to you about Jacksonville State? Uh, why'd you want to go there? The hospitality, the coaches new facility that they got down there on the campus. And we were talking to Coach Sherman earlier, he kind of mentioned the connections with Rich Rod and you know, how much did that play into it? He could relate because he knew Coach Sherman and he knew what uh, Coach Sherman taught me and he said he's from West Virginia. And Jacksonville State is a program, they seem to be you know, getting better every year, obviously making that jump to FPS. So how exciting is that to get a chance to play there and, and be a part of that? building process. It's going to feel great. So you'll be playing tight end there. Uh, you played both sides of the ball here at Martinsburg. Uh, what are you looking forward to about your football career? What do you want to achieve at Jacksonville State? Playing tight end, uh, playing slot. That's what they're talking about because I know how to run the new formations with the new coach. So what, what I guess are some of your goals for your career there? Uh, going All-American running my stats and hopefully going to the draft later in my career. All right, thanks, Jacob. And Jacob Barrett committing to D1 FCS right now, soon to be FBS Jacksonville State. And uh, thanks for joining us. Best of luck. Thank you.